Never a shortage of news seemingly surrounding this company and its founder. We'll get to all of it, including Elon Musk testifying once again today in a shareholder lawsuit related to that now infamous funding secured tweet. Remember that from a couple of years ago? Phil LeBeau has been monitoring the case for us. Phil. And Tyler, the uh, testimony from Elon Musk has just resumed. He was on the stand for about three and a half hours this morning. And during that testimony this morning, a lot of the questions focused on what exactly did he mean and when did he just make the decision in terms of sending the tweet back in 2018 about taking Tesla private, considering taking Tesla private at 420 with funding secured. One question came into the uh, from the attorney was, well, did you know that you had a secured funding. And Elon Musk said yes, because he had been talking with the Saudi investment fund. Elon Musk on the stand said they were absolutely supportive of taking Tesla private unequivocally without hesitation. And in fact, I asked them, I asked the head of the Saudi investment fund if he was certain about being supportive. And he said yes. Again, this gets back to the question of did Elon Musk truly have support when he said funding secured at $420? Also, by the way, he has denied, and he did this on Friday, that when he tweets, that automatically people are going to make investment moves based on those tweets. Again, the testimony from Elon Musk has resumed. And the questions this afternoon, a lot of them are going to focus on what exactly did he think was going to be the result of these tweets. In fact, an attorney for the shareholders, uh, guys, within the last uh, hour said, well, how long did it take you to realize the impact of your tweet? And Elon Musk said, well, I wasn't really paying attention that day. And the, the attorney said, well, when did you pay attention? You didn't tweet for three more days. And he said, I used the word considering. So this is what the kind of testimony back and forth between Elon Musk and the attorney for the shareholders uh, that's going on right now in the courtroom out in California. And, Phil, even as this lawsuit is going on, a potential trouble spot emerged last week with this former engineer at the company saying a video demonstrating full self-driving was faked. And given what happened at Nikola for a similar issue, I, what do you make of this? Well, it depends on whether or not a regulator steps up and gets involved. And remember, with Nikola, it was a case where you had uh, a noted short fund said, hey, look, this was fake video that ultimately led to the SEC getting involved. If there is some kind of regulator who gets involved, whether it's the SEC or NHTSA, and NHTSA has been investigating uh, the uh, autopilot technology at Tesla, then there are real implications, Kelly. But otherwise, we've heard these allegations and these claims from people either who have worked at Tesla or who have tested out uh, autopilot who have said, look, this is not the system that he purported it to be, that it's completely full self-driving. It's not full self-driving. And we've known that for some time. The question becomes, when does a regulator say, OK, enough is enough. We're going to step in. All right. And it Phil, stay right there, because if all of this wasn't enough already, the company reports its results on Wednesday. We'd call them earnings. But, well, I don't know. Analysts are expecting growth of 30 percent on the top and bottom lines, as you can see here. We already know that Tesla delivered more than 400,000 cars in the quarter. And, of course, gross profit margins will be probably the key thing to watch after those price cuts of as much as 20 percent on some models. A move that reminded some of the famous Marlboro price cut 30 years ago.